Hi everyone, today I'm back with the Moistenite update and I'm so excited about this video. I looked at my calendar and I thought, oh my goodness, I've had this stone for two years. Um, I have more than one Moistenite piece of jewelry, um, but my engagement ring is the one I've had the longest, so that one I can kind of give you the track record on and um, I'm very impressed, is, is the good news. So this video is for all of you who are considering Moistenite jewelry especially those of you that are looking at engagement rings, um, I mean in general, because I know when I was looking, I wanted to see the sizing of rings on a woman's finger, if that made sense, or if it was too gaudy and whatever, and um, definitely I wanted to see how a moist night looked in, in the flesh, um, which is, is difficult to do because I don't think a lot of stores carry moist night. I ended up ordering mine online because that is what I had to do in this town, but um, so I think all the videos, all the information you can gather is more power to you. So thanks for clicking on my video. I will have, I'll be talking to the camera right now, but I definitely will be putting in some close-ups and that sort of thing. So let's just get started. Um, I'm not really going to go into the history of why I chose it and what Moistenite offers and all of that because I have talked extensively, I feel like, about all of that. And there are a lot of great resources and I guess I haven't really looked in two years, but I'm sure it's becoming more popular now, and um, I'm just adding adding to the plethora of knowledge. So again, thanks for clicking on my video. I hope I have something to offer you. Um, I'll just go over briefly what Moistenite is. Um, it is a lab-created gemstone, um, not a fake diamond, not anything close to cubic zirconia. It is a gemstone. Um, it, the original Moistenites discovered came from a meteorite. Uh, and then they figured out a way to make it lab created and they've been making advancements ever since. Um, I actually could have done more research on this video, sorry, but anything I am not explaining clearly I will try to link below as far as um, resources and the sizing of my ring and where I ordered these products or where I got them. Um, but like I was saying, they've been improving since, since they started making them and um, even since I have bought my ring and, and received these other pieces, they have created a colorless moistenite essentially where um, it's even closer to a diamond if that's the look you're going for. Um, so they just keep making improvements and I think that one's called the forever one. I'll correct myself if that was wrong, but it's amazing what they're able to do and how well these, these gems wear. Um, so that's moistenite in a nutshell. Uh, similar hardness to a diamond if we're going to compare it, um, which is the typical stone it is compared to. Um, it's the benefits or pros, if you will, uh, definitely one cost was for us, and secondly, eco-friendliness. Created in a lab, beautiful. I mean, like, if you're buying it, let me just go on a soapbox real quick. If you're buying a diamond, you're probably, you're trying to obtain the best, most ideal stone. And you can get that at a different price with a moissanite. Like, you can get the best <laughs> of a moist. like, you know what I mean? Um, whatever. Um, so that's a moissanite. And I have three pieces that I'm going to talk about today. One is my engagement ring, this heart-shaped doodad right here. And then along, along the engagement ring is now my wedding band. Um, and then another wedding band, but that doesn't have stones on it. Um, so that's a half eternity band and then these gorgeous martini earrings. So the first piece I, re I received, I guess I've received all of these in a way, but um, the first and only piece that we purchased ourselves, disclaimer, um, was our engage uh, my engagement ring. And I'll link my story, it's, I can chat forever, but I've, I've had it for two years and that's pretty amazing that I'm able to now tell all of you that this product holds up beautifully. Um, if anything, if I have to be honest, if, if I've noticed anything, I've noticed wear on the metal surrounding and that part of the ring, not the actual gemstone. Um, Moissanites do can run a little like green yellow in in natural lighting. I've noticed, but um, it's pretty subtle. And also, I I feel I don't know firsthand, but I feel as if that problem has been improved with this new colorless moissanite. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with the stone. I feel as if 
it looks the same as the day I, I um, was asked to marry my husband. So um, if anything, the metal around it could be polished up, but the, the gem is wearing beautifully and I don't notice any scratches or scuffs or anything like that. Um, I just use the regular like red tub cleaner. I'm act I don't actually know if that's the proper cleaner to use, but I have been using that and it's, it's stayed, they've all stayed gorgeous. Um, the first piece that I received from Charles and Colvard um, were these martini earrings and it, like let me tell you these three pieces are my everyday jewelry um, these aren't like occasion pieces these are items that get wear and tear I sleep with these things I shower with these things whatever and they've held up um, I, I should mention too, I haven't noticed any clouding in any of the pieces, which I know can be a, a problem with cubic zirconia. And I was really worried about that. Like, you just don't know what you're reading online and if people are trying to like make things look better than they are. But I really don't have anything to gain from telling you this, um, except for to caution you if it, if it were to be a poor product, but it's not at all. Like, there's no clouding. I don't know, I don't notice, I don't notice anything negative. Um, so back to the earrings. Um, these were gifted to me. They're gorgeous. I think that these are one carat equivalent and that my, my ring is for sure 1.25 carat equivalent. Moissanites are measured in millimeters and then there's usually a conversion chart where you can sort of compare to the standard diamond. Um, these earrings, love them to death. I only take them off if I feel like I want to give my ears a break or if I'm trying to get a little more matchy-matchy with my outfit, but I wear these for casual days. I wear these dressed up. Like, I don't even really think about what's in my ears because they go with everything, obviously. Um, so I love these earrings to death. Uh, I love the design of them. It's the three prong. Um, I, three is my favorite number, so I love that versus, like, the four prongs. I just can't say enough about them. Um, and then as far as my, my band, Love that as well. It's a half eternity, and this was also gifted to me from Charles and Colvard when I went out there to the headquarters to check things out last summer, which was an amazing trip. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, the band has gone beautifully. I don't notice any color differentiation between those two, um, like my stone and my and my band. They go together well. Um, I should mention also. Someone had corrected me in the video that I made with my friend Kayla, who has a diamond engagement ring. Um, I, I don't remember exactly what I said, but I, I gave the impression that um, that white gold wouldn't tarnish, when it does. And thank you for telling me that, and I now see that. So versus like a platinum, which is what my friend has. Um, that is one thing I have noticed. I got my band and my engagement ring soldered together, and there is some discoloration, like some slight yellowing in the area that, um, that the two were soldered together. Uh, it is on the back side of my hand. I'm not too bothered by it, but I guess I didn't really know that going into buying um, a piece with 18 karat gold versus platinum. Um, as far as the, the small stones here, they really don't give much shine, I've noticed, like compared, or like, they give some, um, but I thought I would see more, but I think that is because there's not a lot of light that gets in the behind there, um, like it does with my stone. I think that's why, but I'm no expert. I'm just a normal person. So, um, yeah, they still wear beautifully, and I love the two together. Um, I love all these three pieces, and they've held up. I put my faith in this product, and I really think I lucked out. Um, Moist nights are the future. But thank you for watching. I am kind of cutting it short, but I don't know what else to say except that I think this product is great. I'm happy I bought them, or I'm happy I invested in my one and was able to receive the others. And I hope that on your journey this has answered some questions. If it hasn't, please leave them down below or comments or whatever, and I'll get back to you. I'll try to link everything where I got the jewelry, my previous videos, and um, some more education on Moissanite down below. So thank you for watching. Um, good luck to all of you. Exciting times if you're looking at engagement rings or just um, beautiful jewelry. So have a great day, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.